Zip war. Are you pinhead? Did you even count? Look, there are bodies missing. There should be three more candidates and their recorder. Uh, your point. Three plus one makes how many? <laughs> He's not so old there. Four still live. Fix it. Yeah. Figures. All right, let's just point out here. Did you say something? No, sir. I pay him no mind. All right, all right, all right, all right. That was definitely Logos and Ormi in a place with loads of bodies. So, but they said it's crimson something, and they said four people survived, and they were talking up to someone as a boss of theirs. That wasn't actually like LeBlanc or anything. It looked like a member of Yevon. Oh, the plot thickens. Hmm. And that was a, a real slaughter. I don't know why Riku looks so happy there. Look at that face. You shouldn't be so happy, Riku. That was scary. All right, Crimson Sphere 10. Interesting. So this is one of the only Crimson Spheres you get absolutely guaranteed. It's a dud. As a part of the story. Only naughty girls would scrounge through other people's bedrooms. What about you? You're the ones who broke into our airship. The boss's orders are permission enough. Wow. Sort it out, bros. All right, so this is the fight you want to equip. You remember that stuff I bought from Guado Salam? This is the fight you want to have that stuff equipped for. I didn't do that, so whatever. But you want to have it because Logos over there is a freaking scary man. And he will do crazy stat damage to you, including instant death, poison, and petrification. And if he petrifies you, he will destroy you. Luckily, you did just have a save sphere, so it's whatever. But uh, let's instead mix together... Um... I kind of want to use, like, should we go to Lunar Curtains, which is Shell on the Pie? There's probably some crazy defensive thing. Uh, with Yuna here, I'm actually going to Sphere Changer in the middle of the battle. Back over to uh, Psychic. We're going to get a little bit of play from that. We are once again going to Armor Break uh, Ormi. Actually, th last time we Mental Broke him. There you can see a very quick transition. Why did that uh, that happen so fast? We'll Express Yuna as well. Treat it like a proper boss fight. Riku, what, what did that do, Riku? What did you do for us there? Should, all right, I, I don't actually know. Oh, by the way, yes, I know. I pronounced Gaiasol Greens wrong. No, let's not do fire gems. That's too OP. Uh, two bomb frag fragments. Yeah, I pronounced it wrong. What can I say? It's Gaiasol Greens to me. It's annoying. All right, whatever. I think I said it wrong in in the previous let's play as well. All right, here you go. Russian roulette. So we don't know which of the three stats it will hit us with. I'm not sure what it hit Yuna with at all there, to be honest. But I'm pretty happy with that. What else can we do here? Let's let's see if a delay buster works on Ormi. Who's charging his super collider. That's the massive attack that I told you about before. Let's try and use Mazer Eye. Really, we should focus Logo. So I'm going to actually swap the focus here away That now. Let's do two Pom Gores this time. I'm going to swap the focus away from Ormi. Because Ormi, as we know, is tankier, right? We've experienced that before. Logo has got the deadly stats right now, which I never equipped the stuff to protect ourselves from. So we'll, ju we'll just spin like this. There's a delay buster. I wonder whether it worked from pain there. Let's go back to Gun Mage on pain, and if we can, uh, cast a, a cheeky little mighty guard. I didn't go off and kick, collect White Wind yet, so don't worry about that. Oh! What happened there? Oh, that was delay. Okay, I think that was delay, and now she's got a turn back. Wow, it knocked us up. Let's go double dark grenade there. Alchemist will just shred through these characters here. Absolutely shred through, through them. Uh, instantly defeat. That's not going to work, is it? Psychic Bomb just damage both. Fiend Hunter's not going to work, but we can go Blue Bullet and then Mighty Guard. Get a little bit of defense roll in. Lots of cool abilities. That's what we want here. Uh, let's swap Yuna again now. Back over to Gunner because we haven't seen her on Gunner for a while. And there you go. Logos is down. Good job. See, Riku's just wreaking havoc. Riku the Reeker. Okay, and uh, friggin' Ormi as well here is um, poisoned as well. So let's just attack. Logos running off. Always the first to run, Logos, despite how much you bully all of me. Logos is very cool, though. Here's a trigger happy. You know, I noticed we barely use those in the in the, in the the LP. And though it killed him there, they actually don't do much damage. It was 20 damage to hit. So I wouldn't worry too much. But yeah, uh, that's a little bit scary. Sleep is really good against those as well, by the way. And there you see we get a favorite outfit. Defends against Itchy and a defense fail. It's probably just extra defense. And they run off. But now, look, they know. So all me ran off and got Logos. And now these guys are buggering off, and they've turned on booby traps. This bit of the game's really weird, I'm just gonna say. Like, really weird. 
Because you'd think it's some complicated puzzle that you have to deal with here. And it's not. It's not a complicated puzzle at all. So here you'll see, like, we got a hold. Oh, okay. We got we got some more uh, um, random encounters to deal with. Let's deal with this one really quickly, shall we? Since we've got all the gems. Burning soul. Christ. <laughs> oh, I only hit one of them. One of the snakes survived. Those snakes, by the way, have actually done their fiend tails and stuff. So it's kind of cool. All right. So you notice here, actually, there's like a hole. If you look at the mini-map, it's kind of like, oh, what's that hole doing there? That's kind of weird. You can ignore that for now. You also notice that there's like a gap up there, way above us. I'm getting some serious Tomb Raider vibes here at the moment. I'm actually watching a Tomb Raider 4 Let's Play while I record this. Um, and that's that. I seriously just want you to be able to jump up there. We're just going to move on ahead, and we're going to fall down these holes. And in the holes, you'll see there are switches. Now, as far as I remember, all we have to do is just hit everyone we find in order. As far as I remember, so we'll try. Security override 2. I'm relying on past me on my notes for this. So, security override 2. Activate it. Notes that are a year old. Let's see whether I know what I was talking about. So, even though that says override 2, we'll just use it straight away. Then we'll override security override 3. We haven't found one yet. Oh, God. Uh, and then we go all the way over here. And then all these spikes come, and they look scary, those spikes as well. And then what we do, I think, is you just run into the spikes, trigger the trap, let it go over you. Wait for it. And then you just go up the other side. And then there's the last override there. So I don't know what the previous two overrides were going to do, or what- Oh, yeah, there you go. And then you just open the door. The security door is- Oh, wait, what? No, it didn't work. All right, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Now that the spikes are gone, I think you can use those to get into that doorway. I think that's the way it works. We'll see. Either that or I miss up. Sorry, battle snakes. It's not like you have feelings. Actually, it's funny because those are clearly mucking it, right? But when you do it all on the fiend tail thing, the creature creator, it treats them all like they're fiends. It's really odd. All right, okay, that didn't work. I think we just got piss about now, guys, until I figure it out. Already active. Okay. All right, there you go, the spikes. Now run into the spikes. Okay. All right, yeah, this is what we do. So you'd think it's designed such that you avoid the spikes and then you go up behind them and then you're okay, right? But no, what you actually do is you run into the spikes and then you find security over ride one. And then when you hit security over it, this is why it's weird, yeah. And then you- I knew I was gonna balls this up. Okay, I didn't know. I had a little bit of faith in my old self, and I didn't know. It was misplaced! And then somehow we randomly appear up in that room. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, ask- ask friggin' Squeenix. Don't ask me. Alright. Bad design is bad design. Now that we've hit all three, we can open the door. And, uh, we're gonna move in for the end of this little section. So here we go. Another long, very loud hallway here. And uh, this creepy looking door here. Now, actually, round here, you'll notice we're back at the safe sphere. Because, yes, not only that one door opened, but both did. This wall that was next to the safe sphere before, this is now also open for us. So that's very nice of them to do so we can get this sphere. And the final room. Whoa, check it out. Well, you'll actually notice here on, on the floor what the girls are looking at is a sphere of Cinefina. I mentioned in a very early episode. Uh, you know, these were a thing in 10 that we used to find Yuna in Bevel. Then they're a big thing in this game as well, because it's how we find all of our spheres. Well, the LeBlanc Syndicate are a sphere hunting group too. It's actually really cool that they've got their own one also. I really like that. Gotta be in here, right? Let's split up and look. Now, just to rem remind you guys, the sphere that we found the giant Machina in was the awesome sphere, which New Yevon and the Youth League were fighting over. It had nothing to do with the half of the sphere that they stole from us, that we found in Zanakind. Huh? Now why I was Yuna so distracted? I was wondering why they'd bother stealing half a broken sphere. Really, Payne? Of course! They already had the other half! Well, well done, ladies. Very good, loves. Yeah, thank you, LeBlanc. <laughs> I went through a lot of trouble gathering those pieces, all for Noji Wooji. Oh my god. <laughs> So don't you lay a finger on it. Let's get them, boys. Get them, boys. Yeah, All right, we didn't just lay the smack down on the two of you already twice. Time to 
and through the entire chapter. Now, this is actually really cool what's going on here. What is happening is the culmination of many fights with the LeBlanc Syndicate throughout the entire chapter. Entire chapter, we've been fighting these guys over and over and over and over. They've slowly been getting more powered. Uh, we've been seeing them piecemeal, and finally, this is where it ends. So immediately, we're going to open up with a uh, Mighty Guard. A Trigger Happy to create a big chain there, right as Riku uses her ability. Probably on the wrong target, and we got a little unlucky there, though, which is fine. We'll mix again. Uh, double Arctic Wind this time. Let's not go too crazy. Pain, now that she's done that, we're going to swap back over to Warrior. Remember, Pain's only really got the two Dress Fears at the moment, but that's fine. By swapping, she gets Auto Protect, which is going to be nice. Uh, Yuna, let's actually use one of her regular Gun Mage things, which we haven't seen for a while. Let's crit everyone with a Scatter Burst. That's one of her biggest hits. Uh, and since we're going to be having a lot of magic damage coming out, we will do another Mental Break on uh, LeBlanc here. Because I want to get LeBlanc out quickly. I can't quite remember exactly what she did. Well, uh, she casts early on. Let's do the double ice gem. Shh, it's fine. It's fine, guys. And another, another trigger happy. I can't quite remember what she adds to the table. Stop trigger happying, Ormi. Let's get some actual focus here. All on LeBlanc. All on LeBlanc. Winter storm. Okay. All right. They're actually immune to ice damage, but LeBlanc isn't. That's crazy. That's really cool. All right. Yuna's got a big recharge on her ability when she does that. Uh, let's burst shot just a single guy and... Ready, boys? Of course he's ready! After you, boss. Now, they got some cool abilities. No love lost. This is a really deadly ability that you can avoid if you burst one of them out quick enough. We didn't manage to, so let's see how much we smart from this. Oh, this is so cool! What a big chain! And it's like all three of them need to use this. This is very similar. Do you remember the Maga Sisters from Final Fantasy X? Yeah, it's very similar to what they do. Let's double lightning marble this time. There we go. We just crit shot LeBlanc. They will not be able to use No Love Lost again now. And now let's uh, resume focus on um, Logos with a trigger happy in the middle of one of the big Alchemist strikes. My god, that was amazing. Okay, and now we're just going to go all out attacking. There's a regular attack from Riku there. He's actually got auto protect, it looks like. He does, and he has regen on him. What? Okay, uh... What can we hit him with then? Should we... I want to do something that, like, debuffs the hell out of him. Double Dark Grenade should debuff him, hell it, like, a lot, right? And we'll trigger Happy again. Again, don't forget, we're building a big chain. Big smash there. Riku was too slow and the chain ran out. They're really hard to deal with, but it's fine. We've done nothing to heal so far. Just a single Mighty Guard. Yuna's out of MP. Wow, that did basically nothing, the Blaster Mine. But there you go, we killed him. And there you go, that's your uh, your final big battle with those three. Using a lot of the new stuff we got in this chapter to breeze through. Well, want another helping of your just desserts? <gasps> no one's gonna hear you scream from down here. W wait a second! I'll let you see what's in the sphere. Let us? <laughs> Please, the sphere is yours to watch. I like how she just drops all pretense there. Uh, just do it. There you go, mission complete! Very nice. By the way, so uh, my notes say that LeBlanc had like loads of rust spells. She actually had White Wind, which maybe could have tried to learn. But check it out. So we get a Charm Bangle. Charm Bangles eliminate random enemy encounters. So they're a little bit annoying there in the Chateau. Is at the end of Chapter 2, every player will get a Charm Bangle. And so now we can choose when we want to have random encounters. What's actually really cool about this as well is on International, where you can have big parties, you can actually equip that Charm Bangle. Like I've got Yibel in my party, okay, from ages ago. I could equip the Charm Bangle onto him. Never use him in any battles, but it still, like, affects the encounter rate and gets rid of them. So I can have all my girls proper accessoried up for boss fights or whatever. And, the, you know, forced encounters, but have the charm bangle there, which is really cool. We get a twist headband and the key art and the reassembled Sophia, which we now get to watch. So, what happened at the end of chapter one? We got that from the from the Xanakid ruins. Well, and we get a Garmin good there. Now we finally get to watch what it was all about. Where were the other parts from? I guess, I guess we'll never know. Oh... the thing again. What was it they called it? Vegna gun? Oh, 
I wonder whether all this stuff was easier, like these CGI scenes were cheaper to render or whatever, because they were going to put all the haze over them in the end anyway. <laughs> hmm. Now don't forget, Nuj has seen that one. That is the Colossus, Vegna Gun. Uh-oh. We finished our analysis of the sphere. It appears to have been recorded underneath Bavel. Whoa, are you guys being real with us now? I see Bavel hasn't lost its old fondness for secrets. Exactly. Those Yevon scum have been concealing that weapon all along. What if they've just been doing it? If anyone uses that thing, Spira is done for. But Barilai told us that they, they were doing it just to keep it safe. But it's a machina. All we have to do is shaky shake our way up to it and take it apart. Okay, Riku. All right. That's what Nucci's got in mind. And of course, whatever he's planning is what I'm planning. What about you? Oh, so Nucci is a good guy. Me? The summoner who defeated Sin ought to stand up and defend Spira again. Hmm. So, then I guess we're on the same side. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Ooh. Waiting where? Don't be silly, love. On your airship, of course. I've always wanted to take a spin on that thing. <laughs> Ever heard of asking? They don't need to ask. They've got this thing called class, okay? I like how Riki jumps there. So much Sin energy. is gone. The calm is here. I thought our peaceful days would never end. The eternal calm. I really believed it would last forever. Until now. Lady, you saw the danger. I've realized how fragile it can be. Well, so something big did happen there. And, you know, until this point in the game, Yuna's been like, Oh, I don't know if I want to actually help anyone. I want to just have fun. I just want to play. And now she's like, yeah, the gloves are off. Let's sort it out. So tell us, save your progress. Um, and we're gonna get this does not mean we're moving through the chapter here This just means uh, we're gonna get instantly loaded into our next thing here. We like I say we don't have a choice anymore Back on the Celsius baby and check it out the syndicate are with us These guys are now allied with us and I've got something cool to show you all as a result of this First things first, we are going to Bavel. Full speed up! <laughs> oh, what a skanky tattoo she's got her chest for real. That's right, take charge! You just wait, Blondie! <laughs> you know, what next? Oh. She's off to save Spira, of course! Oh, brother, you're being nice! <sighs> you me, you me. Always getting herself dragged into trouble. Oh, please. You lot forced her into it. To there should be lots of spears there, so why don't we hunt for them on the side? Uh huh. <sighs> Just admit it, love. You're a goody goody. Oh. <gasps> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, guys, this is the setup. You know, this is the final mission of the game. Of course, we go there, we destroy Vegnagon, and that's it. So th this is one of these scary scenes, right? Like or, or moments where you're like, oh, it's the airship destination list. There's no cancel button. I'm sl you listen to this, guys, very carefully. You hear that? That's the circle button being pressed. It doesn't do anything. Into Bavel. That Vegna gun is bad news. We better get under Bavel and get to the bottom of this. All right. So yeah, final mission of the game. Let's do it. Let's play his drawing to a close. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, really, we're so overpowered at this point, right, guys? Guys. <laughs> 